against all odds how xqc beat a hundred million dollars divorce holy crap let's when see. you watch a streamer it's probably because they're either really good at video games or they're funny i think there was a third reason too uh they're cheating and you want to find out <laughs> like is they are they really cheating or not but i forgot what it was something about hot tubs and body painting i don't know what it oh, is oh yeah yeah Man, but this sometimes was insane, it feels though. like there's something more there. You start to feel like you really know the streamer and like them as a person. Unfortunately, the only thing more shocking than falling into a parasocial relationship with a streamer is being snapped back out of it by the harsh cookie of reality. Man, I don't know what's worse, like viewing streamers as their fa uh, as your father figure or watching like hot tub streamers, naked chicks all day, every day. Yeah, don't get like seriously, there are sickers out there that view some streamers as, as their father figure, bruh. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh... If you're a broke boy, just say so. But there's one streamer relationship that transcends the parasocial. XQC and Adept's relationship has been live streamed from the very beginning. The quality must be terrible. Can you check it? Why are you guys saying the fine cap? <laughs> it's not a cap. <laughs> it's not cap. Uh, honestly, I don't know much about like, uh, I didn't even know like the homie XQC had a wife, but apparently she double crossed him though. Yeah. And I feel, I I'm not I feel like the outcome was, and it's, Okay, I don't want to spoil it. I feel like I know about the outcome, but I don't know much. But here's the thing, though. He's, uh, I, I was mind blown when I learned that he is in Laval. I'm in Montreal, and let me tell you, my homie's in Laval, first of all. And I've been to Laval multiple times, okay? Uh, on my electric scooter, though. Oh, shit. It's, like, in my neighborhood. And that's where the homie XQC is. Small world, bro. Small world. Oh. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> XQC's transformation from an upstart Overwatch pro player with 100 viewers on Twitch to a titan of the streaming industry signing a $100 million deal is a story for the ages, but yeah. it's overshadowed by a story of trust and love that turned into a high six game of lies, deceit, and betrayal. You Dang. are not a victim okay, here. I'm, you have never not, been a victim okay, here. Okay. I'm done speaking okay, with okay, you. you well. not Things were bad privately, publicly, career-wise, and I just didn't know what to do. And a lot of Damn. evil was shown, and a lot of terrible things were said and done. I sat there, and I was asked that question multiple times. Do you want peace, or do you want justice? And over and over again, I answered, I want peace. Now, where I'm at, I was asked, do you want peace or justice? I said, I want justice. I want justice now. Damn. Yo, honestly, bro, like, his life is like GTA RP, bro. <laughs> It's as though his life is literally a movie. In Urdu Hindi, if you understand, I gotta say, man, yeah, Matosko Raman Samashtata, Yar Yeto Ram Nikla Bhai. Yeto Ram Nikla Pancho. Like this is crazy. His life is literally a movie, y'all. Like hundred million dollar lawsuit. It's bro. December of 2017. The setting is the Blizzard Arena in Burbank, California. The air is filled right, with guys? the buzz of excited anticipation and gamer body odor as the arena is full of Overwatch players. But they're not here for some casual games of Overwatch, no. They're wearing fancy jerseys with cities' names on them. Names like Dallas Fuel, Houston Outlaws, and Seoul Dynasty. Okay. These players are here today to play preseason exhibition matches <laughs> for the brand new- Yo, if I told my- look at no shade, I'm a gamer as well i love this crap right but if i told my parents if my grandparents they would have died bro they're like what what like what are we talking about like back in my days i saw like muhammad ali like pow pow like box right like that was the event now we be watching like uh <laughs> gamers uh, play games like their life depends on that crazy time soon we're gonna get like the ready player one uh shines in real life too see blizzard wants to try right, to Celine? legitimize esports by building teams that are tied to individual individual cities, just like the NFL. And okay. Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick believes that he could make NFL and NBA size money if he just copies their business model a little bit. He recently pieced out, like he got fired, uh, tang uh, not necessarily fired, he kind of pieced out on his own, got like $400 million as like, uh, I quit guys, I'm getting fired. Yo, listen man, I would love to get fired too guys, I would love to quit <laughs> if I was getting like 400 million. Like the video, <laughs> like, the, like the stream, if you also would love to get fired from your job, but also get $400 million uh, on the side as a golden parachute. That's wild, imagine. Imagine, imagine getting, you're not getting fired at that point, bruh. If you're getting 400 million, yeah, that's right, Tox, and appreciate you becoming a member once again, though. And then sprinkles some gamer dust on top. 
it's probably just Doritos nacho cheese flavor. And to his credit, 12 teams have already signed up for the first season, each agreeing to pay Blizzard a $20 million franchise fee for a total of $240 million. That's a lot of loot boxes. They open my boxes! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My 1,256 boxes! I was collecting those bitch! One of the players in the arena today is Felix Langell, known online as XQC. Just one month before, Felix had won the 2017 Overwatch World Cup MVP award while competing for his home country of Canada. Now, he's holy been added as a- you, Honestly, I don't know much about XQC, right? But it's like, uh, holy crap, like he, uh, he's like a- yeah, like he used to play games, or he still does. Like his life depends on it. Shit, man, the homie like won a couple of uh, awards uh, playing good. But but there also controversy. I was uh, I saw the video in my feed, but I have not watched it yet. But the video was uh, talking about how uh, XQC actually cheated at one point. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, shit. but I'm not sure whether that's true or not. These probably are accusation or allegation. I'm not sure, but I saw a video pass in my feed, uh, and I have not watched it. If that's true, then that's wild though last minute addition to fill the final spot on the Dallas Fuel. The Overwatch League is reportedly paying the players a league minimum of $50,000 so they don't have to stream and focus on playing at a professional level. <laughs> Are you serious? And so, to supplement his income- MC, and recently, like, dog, Phil Spencer from Xbox, uh, you know, did say, right, that he's gonna be making a healthy environment for the devs, uh, for Activision, right? You know, when they are, when they would get to acquire them, and guess what, they acquired them, and then, he fired, wait for it, 1900 devs. <laughs> He said that he's gonna make a healthy environment for devs, but he shot down 1900, metaphorically metaphorically speaking. He fired them, and he fired, uh, uh, word has it, 80% of the esports division, right? It had like 70 some employees, and now it's like less than 20 people Bruh. for the esports. It's like Joe over though. Phil Spencer started firing everybody like, ta da 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 da. Come in just because he loved doing it. Felix had been streaming Overwatch on Twitch. Bye, bye, bye. Oh. At the beginning of 2017, he was averaging 150 to 300 viewers, but by the end of the year, he was pulling in well over 5,000 viewers on a regular Damn. basis. And it was Damn. because of this fast growth in popularity that he was recognized by- Guys, uh, let's go for two likes, man. One day, we're gonna hit it big too, man. Shout out to all of you, man. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to all of you lovely people for 100 likes on, on the stream. Let me send you some kishish. No homo, no homo, or full on homo. Oh, oh my god. Oh, shit. oh, oh shit. my god, like first thing I saw was uh, this picture. This is Photoshop, but on a regular basis. And it was because of this fast growth in popularity that he was recognized by someone in the stands that day, oh, no. a woman named Sammy. Sammy also played Overwatch competitively and had been dabbling in content creation, going by the name Adept online. Hey, I know you, aren't you XQC? Um, oh, wait, well, you're wondering uh, who is actually the most decorated worldwide gamer, international stage winner, T-Mobile MVP, Juicer Warlord, most handsome motherfucker, what's up? That's me, man. I mean, like, listen, I don't care who you are, okay? Like, uh, you you can be a juicer, you you can have a big schlong, small one, doesn't matter, okay? Like, uh, maybe you, you're an award-winning actor, you, or maybe you're, like, a toxic gamer, or you're, like, a cool-ass lad, or a broke boy, or a rich lad, or a, a, a good, kind-hearted soul. If you choose your partner wrong, though, it is Joel or bro. It is Joel or guys, uh, remember this man, like choose your partner wisely or your life could be li living hell. 100 million divorce, 100 million dollars lawsuit he fought. I'm not sure, uh, I mean, I, I heard the results, but I, I don't want to spoil the results just yet because otherwise this movie is not going to hit the same, you know what I mean? Like I don't want to give you the, uh, the, the, <laughs> the climax just yet, okay? Wow, that's amazing. Good luck. XQC had a job in the Overwatch League because he played at a professional level, but he had a growing following on Twitch because of just how unprofessional he could be. <laughs> Felix was- FBI, FBI, this is, this is Jesse Pinkman number two right there. Jesse Pinkman two right there, bro. Oh, oh, he, he out there doing the coke out there, dog. Yo, bro, brother, what's good, man? Welcome on in. How you doing, bro? 
temporarily banned from Overwatch just a few weeks later for throwing games. But a lot of Felix's fans said he was a victim of match throwing himself. Stream snipers consistently joined XQC's team and did everything they could to lose the match just to get a reaction out of him. Trolling XQC became a common theme amongst his audience with half of them there to cheer on their favorite Overwatch player and esports athlete and the other half trying to make him so mad that he would fart and smash his desk again. What? What? Nice just a few weeks after meeting Sammy for the first time, Felix would see her again. Hey, oh hell no, bro! What the hell was that, dog? Yo, what the hell? Did he really farted? I get it. It's a biological need, and it happens. Uh, yeah, no cap. Uh, as the kids would say now, this, but like, damn, man, come on, man. No, it's it be stinking out here, though. Guys, don't hold your breath. Hold your breath. At a New Year's Eve party in Los Angeles. Hold your breath. And it was most obnoxious music and people that I've, that I've ever come across and that I just realized that that's just how LA is. Um, just really, mm. really just. My guy got that natural two times YouTube player speed. He talks fast. He talks fast. You guys think I talk fast? My boy be zooming through. This is like Fast and... Looks like that he read the Fast and Furious 20 movie script. Trashy clubs and people. Felix had recently moved from Canada to LA to play Overwatch on a work visa. For most people... Big mistake. People moving to a new city and a new country where you don't really know anyone would be a pretty difficult social situation. But Felix didn't seem to have a hard time meeting girls. I didn't want to date Felix at all at first. When me and him met New Year's, he was with some Felix, other girl. You really messed up and so not I was remembering. Like, why would why would I want to be with this guy? Like he's a player. Like he yeah. can go strong, independent. You know me. You know, like I'm not gonna be one of his hoes. He could go. A billion other girls like i'm not gonna give it any of my attention right and yeah. she's like ding, ding. But, but you're gonna be my hubby ding, 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 ding. you're gonna be hubby and uh, i will try to get a hundred million dollars off of you just because i can't check them January, the regular season began, and Felix was regularly playing Overwatch in an arena full of screaming fans with TV-level broadcasts and casters. Fuel's third official matchup of the season was against the Houston Outlaws on January 18th. Oh, Felix shit. didn't play in the match, but his unique personality and unintelligible trash talking had gotten the attention of his opponents, leading oh Houston God. Outlaws player Muma to use X's own catchphrase against him after beating the Fuel. In the wise words of a good friend of mine, rolled and smoked my doggies. <laughs> Felix Okay, I would say that was not that bad versus my real life friend. I was telling my, my homeboys a story of a guy that I know. I mean, he's my homie, Jefferson. And he's like, I want to have a kid in my 20s, so when I'm like 40 years old, I can take my kid to a strip club. <laughs> Deadass, no cap. I would say that was sound advice, but Jefferson gave me that advice, bro. Like, because I'll have that kid, and then you can take him to the strip. Like, come on, man. Like, on stream with about, about, about as much accuracy as a Winston man could be expected to. Shut your fucking mouth. Go back there. Suck a fat cock. Uh, I mean, he would like it, but. Love you. XQC's response was not received well, especially since Mumo was one of the only openly gay players in the league at the time. The league acted quickly, releasing a statement the next day saying that XQC would be fined $2,000 and suspended four matches for his comments. Felix you, you get, isn't it crazy? And I heard this about uh, Optic Scump, right? Like Optic Scump, or was it somebody else? I might be mixing, but I believe it was Optic Scump. You guys can correct me in the comments. But Optic Scump, I believe, said something just like hey man call of duty sucks and he was fined he was fine Bruh. like come on what in the world bro like free speech don't exist and everybody's like democracy free speech you know what you have your rights but you only have rights till you actually want to have rights if if that makes sense you don't have rights guys we living in the social credit economy though uh it's so sad that these kind of bad uh, bad attitude girls is a normal nowadays but you are wrong. Toxic masculinity. Yeah, bro. Like that's this what team it is. extended the suspension to the rest of stage one. Once reinstated, Felix would go to practice with his team for eight hours. Then since he didn't drive, he would usually walk or run Man. home to his apartment and stream for nine, 10, sometimes 11 hours. And I don't know if that's sad or like, obviously I, I, I do YouTube as well. I do online content creation. I'm not that big of a streamer. I want to be, but like eight, nine hours, that's crazy. I respect the hustle though. I respect the hustle. Uh, as somebody that does uh, very rarely streams, like I, 
I, I, I respect the hustle, and if any of you tried streaming, or you did, uh, like, professionally, or just, like, um, you know, you wanted to give it a shot and see, like, how that works out, uh, I, I mean, like, uh, truly, I do respect the hustle, but 8-9 hours, that's crazy, that, this guy's a machine, though, like, holy crap, though, that's, uh, that, but, but I get it, like, a lot of you would be like, well, Skizzle, he doesn't talk that much, man, he doesn't talk that much, he barely talks, bro, okay, yeah, that part is, yeah, I mean, constructively speaking, <laughs> that, that's true, right? Like, he doesn't really talk, so it doesn't take much. He plays games, doesn't talk, he watches videos, doesn't even criticize or doesn't even give his opinion, so it doesn't have to talk, doesn't have to think that much. But outside of that, like, I, I mean, like, I, I respect the hustle, man. Holy shit, though. Eight, nine hours, that's insane. Sometimes he does, like, 24-hour streams, too. Like, that's that's insane, though. Stream was growing. You chose the balls and shot! Yo! By March, <laughs> Felix was reinstated and returned. And when he talks, he let everything out, okay? He talks the... You know what? What I'm gonna say in my entire stream, he summarize everything within like two sentences yeah. and call it a stream right there. My one stream is like his one billion streams though. Like that's that's wild bro. Turned to competitive play. But almost as soon as he came back, he got himself into hot water again. While streaming isn't for me, I enjoy getting out and living my life. Yeah. Oh hell yeah brother. Hell yeah bro. Like I every chance I get to go out, bro, I take it man. Whenever my friends are like hey man let's do something, I'm always down, right? I'm not sure if Capital E is still here or not. He's my homie in real life. That's what I told him and that's why I always tell my real life friends dog like whenever you guys are free because they're working as well right they're busy people as well whenever you guys are free just let me know a day or two before i'll work extra that day so the next day i can be with you we can spend time we can bond we can go outside do some shit and uh yeah man every chance i get i take it brother I take it, so yeah, man, <laughs> gotta touch grass, brother, gotta touch Commentator grass. Commentator Malik Forte was hosting an Overwatch event on stream. XQC went into the chat and started spamming TryHard7. The League was not pleased, saying that he had used it in a racially disparaging manner. Felix's fan... I, I, I hope we meet before, like, dog, like, April, that's like two months away, dog. Like, come on, man. Come on, man, we gotta do something, man. I'm done to do, like, something every weekend, though. Or every two weekend. Every other weekend, I know, like, every weekend. Like, time flies like crazy. Like, holy shit, we met, like, just the other day. And when I say just the other day, it's like, it's al already been, like, a month, right? Fast and Furious is crap nowadays, more like drama and the Furious. I agree, that's too much time. Even one hour is too much. These streams are bots. Uh, the three hours at most, I will game uh, eight hours some days, but I'm a disabled Navy veteran. First of all, uh, thank you for your service, man. Holy shit. Uh, eight hours... I, I, I have pulled eight hours, I guess all gamers have pulled. Right now, I don't even remember when was the last time I did, like, m gaming for more than two hours. Recently, I've been playing Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC. I love it. And we got the Xbox event coming up. Dog, I would love it if X, uh, <laughs> if Microsoft Flight Simulator game comes on PlayStation. That's an instant buy. And the wildest thing here, man, is that I went to the microtransaction store, the devil shop in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and they are selling jets for, like, $40, $50. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And I'm like, holy shit. Shit, like what has gaming become though that's my biggest criticism right now but other than that microsoft flight simulator that's one of the masterpieces that xbox made uh, other than that i don't i guess game passes are good for the fans definitely not for the industry i guess and or i don't know man depends on how you guys look at it right but i feel like that it's uh, good for the gamers because you get um, you pay little and you get a lot of games and also Forza, I heard nothing but good things, never really played, and I watched it, looks very, very good to me as well. But other than that, I'm not sure what Xbox got, but uh, in terms of like a masterpiece, right? But Microsoft Flight Simulator, that's a damn masterpiece by, by Xbox, right? Uh, and Microsoft. And uh, yeah, man, Microsoft, microtransactions are really out of control in that game. You think they are bad in Call of Duty? <laughs> they are bad in Call of Duty, don't get me wrong, but they are insane in microsoft flight similar have you seen skizzle uh skizzle news from blackwoods uh wh what uh, what ta what game uh, happy first of all welcome on in how you doing and what news, what news? try hard seven all the time oh. and it was just something he typed no matter who was on the screen and there is proof of him typing this in chat going back weeks before this incident the league was not convinced and fined him four thousand dollars anyway dallas Crazy. fuel's response was much more severe you can find something that makes you happy. Get the juice poggers. Three months into his first season in the Overwatch League, Felix had already lost his job. Now, he had a big choice to make. He could either give up on Overwatch, move back home and try to get a normal job, or he could lean in 
gamble everything and try to become a full-time streamer. You can probably guess what he did. But being a yeah. full-time streamer in LA wasn't just snorting Coca-Cola and smashing his own furniture. On multiple occasions, XQ- Man, you gotta be out of your mind, bro. Like, streaming every day, like, eight hours, that's insane, bro. You cannot be normal and, and sane to be able to do that. There are very, 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 very few people that can stream every single day and that are not on something. I mean, one, two hours, three hour stream, sometimes four hours, that's okay, understandable. But like eight hour stream daily, sheesh, man. Have you seen, uh, he made a PlayStation news about Uncharted? Yeah, okay, I have not seen that video, but I'm a believer that that's gonna happen. I'll check it out later, I appreciate that. Next take to investor call, when? In May, in May, first week of May. Ghost hunting stream, Wayne. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. QC got so loud that his neighbors threatened to call the police on him. Then on May 16th, he oh, heard man. a loud knock on his door. He's Hello? I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh. The FBI. Oh, yes. What? Ends up. Ends up. Walk out. Walk out. Anybody else in there? No. No. Please. Please wait for us. All right. Like this? Just like that. Okay. I think I just got fucking swatted. Swat, but did, did was it swatted or noise complaint? Because you're in an apartment, dude. Yeah, yeah. It, no, it, it was it was swat 100. It, it it wasn't like noise complaint. Oh yikes! Yeah, swatting is a real problem uh, in the U.S. Man, holy crap! I I haven't. Uh... Kenda has some some equivalent as well, but I don't necessarily hear that many stories about swatting in Canada. But U.S. like you hear it all the time. Ned Luke, GTA, uh, GTA actor uh, behind Michael, he was swatted like crazy. Like few, he's always like swatted every other week. It feels like. Dude, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm just like kind of saying, dude, that that three guns at me. What the. F <laughs> XQC's fans had escalated from trying to get a reaction out of him in Overwatch to trying to get him arrested on stream. Then on May 27th, it happened again. Damn. Look, look at all these people talking. This time, Felix said it was his upstairs neighbors calling in a noise complaint on him. Understandably, he didn't feel safe staying there that night and texted his new friend Sammy to come pick him up. The two had been Damn. spending more time together recently. Sammy! Oh, shit! Oh. The drama is getting deeper, though. I feel like that this is just the beginning, though. This is just the beginnings, guys. As one uh, politician once said, any the beginnings. Those of you know that meme, you know that meme, okay? And she was happy to help out. Soon, they began streaming together. Okay, big mistake, well. big mistake. <laughs> I was putting tryhards in there. Feel man, that's kind of wholesome, and I, I feel him. Like, uh, uh, I feel like, excuse me, he was like, oh, everybody's like sunshine. Let's go out there, you know, pick up sunflower seeds, watch rainbows in the sky. He was on the moon that day, okay? Like, trust me, man. Brother, uh, all my brothers can vouch for this, right? Like, uh, I see a brother. Man, listen, man, this was, uh, he was in love. He was in love, though. Like, emotions are, uh, the emotions were at an all-time high. He was peaking. Man, he was over the moon. He was like, let me take off care of you, baby girl. But the baby girl... Double crossed him though. Felix continued to be worried about his safety as packages were going missing at his apartment and he was filled with dread waiting for the police to come raid him again. In the beginning of July, Felix informed his chat that he would be moving in with Adept, but bad, that they were just mistakes. roommates. And so began the roommate arc on XQC's stream, leading to some of the most wholesome and entertaining content on all of Twitch. Who is in a relationship, I love you too. Romantic face, romantic face, romantic face. Shut the f up! What the f King Rita cock lord, dude. Yeah, he's high on emotions. Like, see, like calling his viewer, uh, calling his viewer that retweet. <laughs> because he's like, yeah, bro, I'm on your side, girl. Whatever you say is right. Because you're never wrong. I am always wrong. I'm a toxic man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, she was wearing the pants in the house. In November. I have no offense to my ladies. I love you, my ladies out there. Let me send you kishish. Full blown right there, okay? Felix went back to Canada to spend the winter with his family. Adept came too, since Felix had met her parents, it only seemed fair that she met his. All roommates do that, right? By this point, XQC's stream was exploding, averaging 15 to 20,000 viewers who would show Damn. up to watch him stream for 11 to 12 hours a day. But Overwatch still had a place in Felix's caffeine drenched heart, and playing in pro or semi pro esports gave him something that just being a variety streamer couldn't an opportunity to compete at the highest levels and prove that he was one of the best Overwatch players 
alive. So when the LA That's Gladiators wild, offered him a spot on their contenders team, Felix was quick to accept. After a short time in LA, Felix and Adept would move to yet another new place, Austin, Texas. By early 2019, Austin- he, His ass was bouncing around a lot. I get that. I just called the cops on you for that key. Uh, she wanted his money. Yeah, she, she definitely wanted the money though. She wanted the money, you know? Not the money, but the monies. It was becoming the hub for Twitch streamers. With names like Asmongold, Mizkif, Greek God X, and many more living there, XQC fit right in. He had just hit a million followers on Twitch and was consistently in the top three most watched streamers on the whole site by this point. I, I feel like that he still is, like to this day. That's like unheard of for streamers, right? Because most streamers, they make the money very, very quick and then just like they don't keep up with the grind understandably and respectfully so right like why grind when you already made it uh, why grind it that much i get it but there are a lot of people or not a lot of people there are few people like xqc that are like nah bro eight hours a day eight hours a day I, that's his lifestyle i mean that's that's insane not a healthy lifestyle but i mean who am i to judge him right like uh, guy crazy man guy crazy beating a hundred million dollar divorce Holy crap, man. Holy crap. XQC and Adept moved in with popular Austin streamer Soda Poppin. Within 24 hours of moving into Soda's house, Felix Welcome proved in, just Matthew. how great of a roommate he was going to be. Thank you, you for the I like, Revive. Appreciate it. I think I let it out. What? While Felix's Twitch career was soaring to new heights, his days of pro and semi-pro Overwatch were tanking. Felix had been selected to represent his home team of Canada again in the Overwatch World Cup. Canada. But when the team entered the playoffs in November, they went 0-4 and four and finished in last place. The next mm. month, Felix would receive some disappointing news from his team, the LA Gladiators, while on stream. As such, we will be parting ways with our players and staff and thanking them for a contribution to our last two years. What does that mean? That I, does that mean that I lose my job? <laughs> Did I just get fired? Okay. That turned out to be the last straw for Felix's competitive Overwatch career. He hung up his jersey for the last time, and now his transformation to pure full-time streamer was complete. In a lot of ways, being a full-time streamer is a great gig, and XQC was loving it. He could get up in the morning, start his stream, react to some videos, play some Fall Guys, and for a little while, it was peaceful. Yeah, that's insane. Sure, he had gotten some minor temporary bans from Twitch for stuff like showing up certain gorilla clip or whale watching in VR chat. Wait, I have to choose. <laughs> the big whale at the back. Big whale. No, 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 no. But for the most part, Felix had stayed away from major streaming drama so far. But so in far. early 2020, there was- And this is where the cookie crumbles though. Oh. Yay, we about to get into it, boys. The drama, the drama, the drama. It's, uh, it's about to go down, man. It's about to go down. Clench your butt cheeks, guys. Sit down fast on your seat belts because the ride better be bumpy though. And if you're just coming on Xbox stream very soon, boys. Was an event that made everyone's lives just a little bit more complicated around the world. The pandemic. To get some more room to spread out and probably to be around fewer people during the height of COVID, Felix bought his own house in- Dog, that was four years ago. <gasps> Holy crap. Yo, isn't it, is it, is it just me or you guys feel the same way? Ever since the, the, the Roni situation, I'm not sure if I can still say the word on YouTube or not, but I mean, dang it, he kind of said it, right? So, F it. Uh, COVID, right? Four years ago! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Four years ago, like, it's it feels like a blip. We just fast forward four years like it was nothing. I remember, like, March of 2020, like, lockdown was happening. Reports started coming out about the Roni from Wuhan. I, I believe in December of 2019. Uh, you know, public and mostly everybody find, find out about it, like January kind of ish of 2020. We went on lockdown ar around like March time in 2020 and uh, everybody was panicking around that time. And look, fast forward now, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, but they got you with the jabs though, you know what I'm saying? They got you with the tick, tick, ticks though, I'll, I'll say that. In Austin. And he and Sammy moved out of Soto Poppin's house in April. X tweeted that he loved being in his own eight, place yeah, now. He could argue with himself yeah. out loud and even yell at himself without anyone blinking an eye. Felix even attempted cooking for himself for the first time and nearly burnt his brand new house down and burnt himself in the process. Within two weeks, he had trained. Bomba cut! You know what? Oh my god. Oh no, he needed a waifu, man. Somebody to cook for him. Oh man, and he had Sammy out of everybody. He always was like, honey, I'm home, but the honey was never at home, or whenever she was at home, she was like, I need your money, I'm not gonna cook, let's order takeouts. She was all about like ordering takeouts, so she was never wanted to cook, and when he tried to cook, it's like, 
he burned his house though like transformed the place from a brand new property into an episode of hoarders in august felix traveled to canada to stay with his family for a while and adept came to stay too since Damn. pretty much every venue and event in the world was shut down and canceled that summer it was a good time to spend with family and learn new skills like yeah. how to tie a tie help me do this come on i don't know how to do these i've never done one you're looking wonderful today <laughs> I, I can feel it oh fantastic we've been doing great today we've been uh Performing really well too. By the spring of 2021, Felix and Sammy had been just roommates for nearly three years and had moved back to the Texas house. But now clips were coming out that suggested that maybe they were more than just roommates. And mm. it was pretty widely known that they were together. In probably the most obvious announcement of all time, Sammy tweeted, what if I told you we were never just roommates? Revealing that their first real date was way back in June of 2018 during the scuffed LA Zoo stream. But almost as soon as they moved back to Texas, Felix and Sammy's lives would become a living nightmare. Damn. We were getting raided by uh, the police station uh, at rates that made absolutely no sense. Uh, almost every day, uh, the uh, the police came to our house uh, with a full squad because of you know idiots. And I was generally I was generally scared that I was going to die. Felix's Texas address had been leaked, and him and Sammy were being held at gunpoint so often that one wrong move could mean the end. They tried to reason with the local police department, telling them that the calls were coming from trolls online, but it didn't help. Understanding that acknowledging the swatters would just embolden them, Felix and Sammy came up with a cover story, saying that they were going to temporarily move out of the house because they were having some renovations done. While Felix's gamer den probably did need new carpet once a week to keep from growing yeah. new species of fungus, fans were completely <laughs> in the dark about the swattings when they moved back in with their old friend Soda Poppin. This was a unique point in Felix's streaming career too. The first half of 2021, Twitch had been taken over by the gambling meta, with everyone from small streamers to the gaming golem. And if I'm not mistaken, the gambling meta is like banned on Twitch? I don't know, I could be wrong. I mean, they let like uh, chicks uh, just shake their boot, hey, uh, and do like those pool hot po uh, Man, if I told that to my parents, I, I think they would have, they would just like, yeah, I don't even want to use any bad words now, right now. They, they would not be able to comprehend, bro. I feel like that I would become homeless if I were to tell them like, these kind of streams happen on YouTube. You know, let's just say that. Let's just put it that way. Call him himself getting sucked into the allure of hitting that spin button. $19,000. <laughs> it's, uh... But gambling wasn't Trevor, ladies and gentlemen, meet Trevor 2.0. Just big wins for Felix. His fan base revolted yeah, the bomb mostly bomb. because the other bomb streamers bomb. were taking special deals with shady offshore casinos to gamble on stream. The streamer would gamble with the house's money, sometimes allegedly with the scales tipped in their favor, so viewers yeah, would see you can them do it on win kick, a lot right? of money. Yeah, the streamer would then get right. paid, but any winnings they made on stream went back to the casino. It wasn't their money in the first place. Keep in mind at this time, there was a huge huge variety of deals out there. Not everyone streaming yeah. gambling at the time was explicitly misleading their audience. But XQC didn't take the sponsored route at first. He gambled raw, using his own money with no sponsorship deal. Damn. But after the backlash from his fans for gambling, he decided to take a sponsored deal since in his mind, he was taking the heat anyway. So why not get the bag too? Yeah. After a couple months of this, I mean, listen, man, it's always, I guess, fun to gamble with uh, somebody else's money, you know? <laughs> Never do that, man. Ga gambling, there's a reason why it's haram. There's a reason why it's bad. Scientifically, religiously, uh, and uh, in every way, shape, or form, right? Don't gamble, kids. Don't do the Nesquik. When I say the Nesquik, I mean the tick, tick, ticks. The, the, don't, don't become a drug, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, in simple terms, like, don't do it, man. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm recently re-watching Breaking Bad, and let me tell you, bro. Yeah, watch Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad, another reason to not become a druggie, man, it never ends well. Life of a crime is never good, mama always said that though, yay! Never good, bro, life of a crime is never good, man. Felix admitted in his offline chat that he had become addicted and said he would stop, but that didn't last long at all. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Off stream, things just continued to get worse. Some, some, some person went to my old house and Welcome on in, Elvin. broke into it with like a crowbar What's What's and good? apparently he was like looking for me. This had gone far beyond someone far away calling the police and lying to them to get XQC swatted. This was something else entirely. To make the situation even stranger, Felix says he checked all of his DMs and messages afterwards to see if the person had messaged him, but he couldn't find anything. 
After oh, Felix crap. and Sammy moved to Soda Poppin's house, Felix says weird things started to happen there too. He started to worry that if Soda's house started getting swatted too, someone might get hurt or Soda's dogs might even be in danger. Yeah. Man, swatting is becoming a real, and it has been a real problem. It, it's just bad all around, right? You are wasting law enforcement money. You're wasting their time. And lives are at risk though. Like pets, humans, uh, because the, the dogs, uh, they, they, they might freak out and they might think the, the swatting team is like real problem. So they might go after the SWAT team but the SWAT team they're prepared to shoot right like they're just sh I mean they're also humans like their life is at risk too so like they might squeeze the trigger and it's like a life it's like milliseconds response rate bro like if you just pull the trigger at the bad time uh you, you know like it's it's just over though SWATting is just never never good though if you don't like a streamer though or something I mean fair but like damn man that's that's how I like, crazy problem that I have it, it, it needs to be a crime and I think it is a crime but it's just that uh, and, and with SWAT team it's like I don't think there is a resol I don't think there is like a solution to that because like, for example right like you call in SWAT team and you make up a story that you know something is happening and, and what if they don't take action they always got to take action though because what if like the threat is real and real lives are at risk so, so they never know from what's true and uh, they never know like if it's lies or true or real or fake right they gotta take action and shout out to them respect uh, they they put their lives on the line but it's like yeah well, there i don't think there's like uh like a good solution to uh solving this problem because it's a real problem right now in the us Addis, welcome on in it's a uh, us uh, popos they are trigger happy yeah but but like uh, you, you know like swatting is like like next level and uh their job is to neutralize and secure as fast as possible even if they have to take down uh lives right obviously they don't want to and they don't wanna but if they have to they will they will you know there's just like millisecond response they're like easy it's not to really shoot. for me it's like for the people around me or whatever just me being around people like endangers them i just want to put i i want to like put an end to it because um it's just kind of like unfair for others felix would later say that he thought his address got leaked because of his online gambling see when you sign up for these offshore casinos you often have to send them proof of your address so maybe somebody along the pipeline saw his address thought ooh, big streamers address i'm gonna leak it and then the swatting started. After just Ooh. a short time at Soda's house, Felix went back to Canada to stay with his parents. Yeah. Can Canada is like, okay, I get it, Canada. <laughs> I'm in Canada too, man. Uh, happy, uh, happy. Did you see the Florida cop that shot up his cruiser? Okay, you're asking, uh, uh, happy. But yeah, I saw that video too. Apparently, like, uh, it was acorn, right? Like a, I'm, I mean, like a squirrel nut. You know, something that squirrel loves to eat or have. I think it fell, and then the cops was like. He started busting though. He thought like, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just an acorn that hit it. Yeah. And he started busting. That's like a Florida cop for you. I mean, listen, me. <laughs> yo, I'm like scared of going to the US. <laughs> uh, I'm always scared to go to the US, man. No offense to my US homies out there, but like, uh, man, you never know, man. The cops are trigger happy. People are trigger. Are people trigger happy there? Probably not. I mean, it's the headlines though. Uh, bro went full retweet Call of Duty player. Yeah, he started. Bussin though, he started bussin though, because he thought that th they were real fires. Uh, imagine like, I'm sitting here imagining what he thought at, in his mind. Probably like somebody's shooting at him, so he like started bussin, uh, give it like a cover fire. I, in a way, I kind of understand. I don't understand, but in a way, I kind of understand from an outsider looking in because there's like so many shootings in the US so bro probably thought like some real shit was happening and he was paranoid scared for his life so he started busting I'm just yeah probably thought that but but like listen he should not be a cop though like respectfully he should not be a cop because you know real people lives were in danger he could have shot like I don't even know I haven't followed that story what if he shot like somebody for real for real right Maybe if he could just be with his family, he could finally be safe. And at first, it seemed like he was. He did After a taking a too. short break from streaming and setting up his gaming PC in Canada, fans said he was looking better than ever. But before long, the trolls who had been swatting Felix got his parents' address too. But the Canadian police treated oh, the situation shit, oh, shit. a bit differently than the Texas police. Okay, how they, uh, after the first... Uh, big okay, ass I'm assuming right before he says it, I'm assuming they came in, gave them a maple syrup, 
They gave him a kiss on the cheek. Bruh. And like, yeah, bro, like, we, we got it, bro, we got it. Uh, obviously, these are like the stereotypes. So <laughs> it doesn't always happen, man. Situation a bit differently than the Texas police. They, uh, after the first uh, big ass raid, they, um, they would give us like a heads up and they would like clear the house, whatever. And I, I found a way to remain on stream and not say anything at all. And nobody ever noticed anything different. And the stream always kept going. Uh, every time it happened, um, they opened the doors, uh, I gave a visual signal, and they uh -huh. cleared the rooms, and they cleared uh, all the angles in the room. Uh -huh. sure nobody was hidden, or nobody was hurt or harmed, so they could uh, finish uh, the, the, the house or whatever. Excuse and me. nobody- I mean, no, W! Okay, go. that's a W situation. They they took care, and uh, yay! <laughs> you know, they, they went a little bit easy, but they made sure like there was no threat. Okay, okay. We noticed. Uh, it happened uh, a crazy amount of times. It's uh, I, I, can't, I can't. I don't even know how many times it happened. Back on Twitch, the days of Grand Theft Auto roleplay were at their peak. Some oh of crap! Them, yeah. Wicked. That there, there. And yeah, they, Rockstar bought like the roleplay, right? So I'm actually hype. I, I've, I've seen like few streams of GTA roleplay. Not too many though. I love the idea. I love the concept. And it's on PC. I got a good PC. Blessed to be able to have that, and I'm able to play if I wanted to. But it's like super complicated. Probably isn't when you know how it works. But I, I mean, I don't. And I would never really bother searching how you get into roleplay this and that. So for me, it's like super complicated, right? I'm, I'm like really, really happy that we might see it on consoles and i think that would be solid kids and families he did a, okay? do a dodge roll he went, i hope you get that in gta oh, 6 honestly wicked! oh my but gta wasn't all fun and games for felix before long he started to get into arguments in game with adept that seemed like they were a little more than role playing now yeah. i admitted to you the other day that in character i was molding and then out of character i don't go there with all of that Okay, but do you want to end so that we can have the talk that you asked me for or not? Okay. Adept ended her stream on at least one occasion due to her and XQC oh. fighting both in and out of game. By all oh snap! Here we go. August things had reached a breaking point. Oh, man, Hardik. Listen, I'm not talking about that much, man. Well, I mean, it's going to a little bit of a fight. It is what it is, man. Hey, it is what it is. Felix explained a little more on Twitter and asked fans not to harass Sammy. After yeah. over three years together... Aww. That's where the couple fighting started, guys. Oh. You know, they started fighting, you know? That's where Sammy started, like, uh, dropping nukes. And uh, XQC was like, okay, well, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm Superman. I'm Superman. You can hit me with a nuke, but I'm gonna stand tall. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm picturing that moment when uh, the Superman went into space and uh, the US response was like... Be because, you know, there was like... Uh, that Godzilla creature that came into fruition and Superman takes that Godzilla-like uh, creature into space and US was like, okay, we cannot kill it, let's drop a nuke. That's what they always do, right? So they dropped a nuke, but he was still alive. So that's XQC, man. That's a homie right there. They're moving to different cities, states, and countries together, enduring countless swattings, and being the one person the other could confide in, it looked like the saga of Felix and Sammy might have reached its ultimate conclusion. Oh my god. It was 2021 not was an intense time in the life end. of XQC's streaming career. Cheeks he would stream clap. for 10, 11, 12 hours at a time just about every single day. Sometimes he wouldn't sleep and just streamed for 20 hours. A lot of Man. people look at streamers and think, that's easy, I could play Grand Theft Auto for 20 hours straight and make a ton of money, that would be yeah. awesome. And it probably would be for them until they realize to hold a viewer's attention for that long, you yeah. actually have to be entertained. Streaming in itself is not a hard thing, it's just like a mental game uh, and holding, obviously, like in his case, like thousand of viewers that's that's a dang hard job so I, I i have to agree with that but on its own though it's not a it's a like if you're doing streaming as is like as a hobby it's fun right it's cool right but if you want to do it like professionally where you want to earn money and do it as a living is it's a i guess every job is hard it's just that we think uh, other people's jobs are easy but let's be real like everybody's jobs is uh uh hard in their own way respectfully right like if you're working for example but some jobs are harder than others 110 percent right some professions are different though uh muhammad ali what's good man how you doing man welcome on in man part two might uh astrobot part two might come on so excited for that yeah let's wait for the stream man 
they're just coming on Xbox stream very soon, boys. Meaning. When you're streaming for 12 hours a day, every day with no days off, you're not answering text messages. You're too busy reading chat. You're not answering yeah. phone calls. You're in Discord with other streamers. You're probably not taking a lunch break either. You're having some fast food door dash to you and then throw- Man, that, that's kind of like me. I don't take, uh, I don't eat outside. Uh, bless to have a great, greatest mother ever, you know, like, uh, you know what I mean? But it, even for me, like I don't do streams, but I do content all day, right? Like on this channel, second channel, uh, and experimenting on like a third channel as well. So it's like, uh, yeah, man, I mean, that's me. That's me. And every chance I get to go outside, I do, man. I do, man. Throwing the trash on the floor. When you're done rebroadcasting a YouTube video that you're going to immediately pay an editor to re-upload to make money off your reaction. 2021, a new craze took over Twitch in the form of- I guess the was intro was pretty good, guys. Um, Guys, I really enjoyed the intro. Okay, I'm reacting to XQC reacting to his uh, own reaction. Holy crap, man. That's like peak YouTube comment. Uh, but it's been, yeah, stream so fun, man. Though time passed pretty quick. Fun day for real. Yo, man, today it's judgment day with the Xbox. Hardik says that, bro, where are you from? I'm from Pakistan, currently in Canada. Where are you from, man? Where, where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Uh, let me know your state, city, country. Uh, if you don't want to share the details, just say a country. Or if, you, if you're like very, very conservative with that, just say what planet you're on. Maybe you're on Mars or something, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> what games are playing? Let me know the planet but I digress. The point is, being a streamer isn't actually a great job. In fact, I would argue it's a terrible one. There's no health care, there's no paid days off, and it really strains your relationships with other people in the real world because streamers like this don't really live in the real world. They live in the stream. And all of this was starting to... Oh my Brampton boy, Cassio Paji, Tik Tako, Kanakalia, you're in Oregon, got you. Or hopefully I did not butcher that. Uh, you're in Amritsar. Hey, I see you, brother. Cassio man, Paji, Cassio. To affect Felix's health and relationships in a big Connecticut? way. He told his chat he was having trouble sleeping, having night terrors. He missed in real life events like Pokimane's podcast because he overslept. And some people <laughs> were starting to worry that Felix was truly addicted to gambling. Halfway through the Okay, missing Pokemon streams. That that's alright. I mean, like, okay, no big no biggie, no biggie. No biggie. Here, he had already wagered over $29 million. And these numbers aren't dollars. They're the number of spins. Five reasons to not quit your gambling addiction. Number five, 99% of gambling addicts quit gambling right before they hit the jackpot. Felix told his chat My multiple God. times that he was going to stop gambling and then would almost immediately go back to it. By the end of the summer after the breakup, once a gambler, always a gamble. Once a druggie, always a druggie, man. Never, never trust a drug addict, man. That's why Gus told walter white in breaking bed and that is the truth that is the honest goddamn truth heisenberg you feel what i'm saying shout out to my homies that know what i'm talking about shout out to you if you also don't know what i'm talking about but but like yeah. shout out to everybody man shout out to everybody for smashing the like button how about that love y'all for 140 likes on the stream come on now man what are we talking about here people I appreciate you all, man. Things looked like they were going to just keep getting worse. After the breakup was made public, Adept tweeted that she lived with a clear conscience knowing the truth about who she is and what she's experienced. Some fans reading too far into this took it to mean that XQC had abused her. Adept clarified the next day that that didn't happen and that she was only oh, trying to salvage God. any privacy she had left. It appeared that- Yo, what are the odds if she said that, yeah, he abused me. Yo, man, the internet would have canceled XQC. The, the cops would be all over him. He would be thrown in like another planet, let's be real. Felix and Sammy wanted this to be a clear break without fans harassing either one of them. But within just a few weeks, Adept was spotted in the background of some of XQC's streams. In early September, Felix posted this picture of the two of them together. It looked like they had smoothed things over and had moved back in together. September 2021 was a particularly big he clapped cheeks after month on Twitch because a massive IRL streamer event was coming up. Shit camp. Planned by streamer QT Cinderella, the plan was to get all of the biggest creators on Twitch together for a summer camp meets game show slumber party. Imagine the smell. Adept and I Felix attended love. this event as a couple, and it seemed like things were back to normal. More clips came out of them arguing, and there were rumors that they had broken up again in November. The stable Great. relationship was devolving into an on-again, off-again mess. The only thing with any stability in XQC's life was his stream schedule and that was making him an extreme amount of money the sponsorships he was taking at the time were worth six figures and he had enough twitch subs and ad revenue to be making enough money to make a trip to space every month hell yeah holy yes. crap <laughs> instead he bought a car but not just any car a three hundred thousand dollar mclaren 720s spider felix said it occurred to him that he i mean holy crap Holy crap, that, that's bro be living, bro be living in GTA 10 right now. I would say honestly, like if you're, if you're somebody that gets, um, I mean, it's your money, you do you always, but, but like, uh, as long as that's legal, do not go around buying like drugs with that money, okay? As long as it's legal, 
you know what, I don't care, you do you, it's your money, but honestly, in terms of XQC, he makes a lot of money, so I'm pretty certain that he's smart with his money, and he has a lot of the money invested, so even if he spends buttloads of money on cars, okay, fair, fine, right, but if you're somebody that gets like 300000 or $400,000 one shot, high chances you're gonna lose that money, high chances, right, because most people don't know how to keep that money, right, Big advice, don't go spending, it's always a mistake spending that much money on a car. Buying a house, that's different, but most important, like, just invest that money first of all, because, uh, and for, for yeah, for his case, a tax-free car, 100%, he's, like, self-employed, so you get that tax, uh, <laughs> you get the benefit of that, so in his case, that's pretty smart, and knowing him, he <clears throat> probably have that money invested, so he, he good, man, 100 million dollars, yo, sheesh, you can buy a, a lot of these cars and never go broke, but in most, be, uh, most people cases, if you were to get 300k one shot, and you spend that on a car, big mistake, big mistake, because the car is gonna lose its value, and if, uh, God forbids, you get in an accident, uh, holy shit, there it goes. He had finally made it, and buying the McLaren was a symbol of that. From eating cup noodles in a dirty apartment in LA, to eating cup noodles in a dirty house in LA, and buying a cool car on a whim, because he liked the fast cars in Grand Theft Auto. The discerning yes. viewer will notice that Chat's immediate reaction to this announcement was to make fun of him for not being able to drive. He still did not have a driver's license, and Sammy usually drove him around in the Tesla he had bought. In Bomba cut. That oh my god, oh my god! But I cannot make a fun fun of him because I also don't have a driver's license. <laughs> that listen, man, making content that's that's the biggest negative, bro. Like there are positives, there are negatives. Positive, I get I get to decide when I want to work, but but biggest negative, I cannot do a whole lot of other things. So that's that's me right there. But like, imagine buying a car, then you cannot drive because you don't have time. And biggest, biggest than all of that, you don't have a driver's license. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Like, what in the world? That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I don't have driver's license, but I also don't have a car, though. You know what I'm saying? But, but, you know what I'm saying? Yes. 15 minutes till impact, guys. December, they went to pick up the McLaren. X posted a picture with the caption, where it all began. The Overwatch League days. Sammy was there too and posted a picture of X saying, damn, whose boyfriend is this? Sheesh. I'm not sure if she was flexing or genuinely asking because I'm pretty sure they had broken up and gotten back together at least three times by this point. But things seemed good now. Honestly, bro, XQC did not buy the car for himself. He bought the car for Sammy. Like, let's be real. Sammy was owning that car in a way when you think about it because she has the driver license. She was driving him around and it was like, I get the car. I can see your messages, Eddie. What's good, man? How you doing, brother? With Adept waxing nostalgic that they had returned to the arena where they met exactly four years later. But even with Adept by his side, the night terrors continued to get worse for Felix. Like that point in our somebody's <laughs> personality <laughs> traits. It measures all of and so oh my god the constant swattings they had endured with police breaking in and pointing guns at them and people breaking into the texas house looking for felix had taken a serious toll on his psyche things were yeah. starting to get very dark let's gather around and shake camp and sing our shit oh it's so over boys Holy September crap, 2022. Shit camp was set to be bigger and better than ever. XQC was going to be one of the main attractions, with streamer Ludwig building a set for a game show that XQC would host. But uh -huh. just one day before the event, XQC told his chat that he wasn't going. And watching that clip was how QT Cinderella found out. X hadn't told any of the organizers that he wouldn't be there. People online immediately attributed this to Felix's apparent gambling addiction. Maybe if QT had put a slot machine, he would have showed up. Random LSF commenters <laughs> were the only ones coming to the same conclusion. Felix, if you want to go into drama, let's talk about how you ditched the Creator Clash at the last minute to go gamble and buy yourself. When the Creator Clash was for charity and they were all relying on you, had to change the name and everyone that was going because you ditched to go gamble. That's By the insane. 16th, the pressure I got mean, to Felix and he decided it was time to offer an alternative explanation. I kind of, I, I was cornered into choosing between um, family and Sammy. And unfortunately what happened is that um, I, I kind of just chose family. He went on to say that this Damn, man. I mean, doubly for him for choosing his family over her, though. Like, like, listen, man, imagine. Okay, uh, did he say he chose family or not family? I hope he says family, because now I'm kind of confused. Because, yeah, I, I, I probably misheard him. But I hope he chose family. 
All of his true family, man. All of his true family, bro. Xbox is finished. Your frozen gamer welcome on in, man. <laughs> You're gonna get some Xbox Andy's mad with that, bro. This breakup was different than the others. There was no arguing, no fighting, but something had happened between Felix's brother, his brother's girlfriend, and Sammy. Whatever this was turned out to be the last straw, and Felix and Sammy agreed it was time to end things for good this time. But Sammy was not happy that Felix had made this breakup public. Because when you have 100,000 people that tune into your stream every day, a few of them are going to go over to a depth stream after this and call okay. her a whale. Even if XQC asked them not to that same day felix tried to yeah in a way that's kind of fair though that's kind of fair but i mean listen like uh a hundred million di uh, dollars divorce uh you're you're filing that that lawsuit i'm talking about sammy right like and you're trying to take whatever man has worked for in his uh, life so far that's crazy i mean in a way i'm kind of glad he made that public but 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 uh, but she has a point like if you make that public a hundred thousand people watching you they're gonna surely even if you say don't harass they're gonna harass yeah sammy i believe his ex-wife right now to call her and explain himself it did not go well i'm thinking about playing uh stellar blade for sure but not entirely sure just yet it looks good though you knew that i've always wanted when things are moving on to move on you know how i am Okay, I don't, I don't cut it halfway. I have to go all the way. I don't have any things above my head all fucking day. I can't do this with you anymore. You are not a victim okay, here. I'm, you have never not, been a victim okay, here. Okay, I'm done speaking okay, with you. I'm you are well. not a victim. It's, it's okay. Stop okay, victimizing okay, 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 yourself. I'm sorry. I, it, this got too heavy. I'm sorry. Bye. Jeez. Bruh. Damn. It's like... I'm sorry, honey. That's crazy. Are you gonna play Stellar Blade? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. A lot of people try to cancel. Damn. Brothers just was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, he wanted to, like, uh, come down to the conclusion by, like, damn, she did not let brother talk, though. Despite XQC's stream turning into Jerry Springer for Zoomers, Felix's fans still had his back for the most part, with one saying, I really hope that this doesn't make his sleep issues worse. Sammy was there for him quite a bit, so I hope he doesn't spiral out. At first, it seemed like that was the end of it. But in early November, Adept started dropping hints that there was much, much more going on behind the scenes. Oh, what? No. So how does a how does a vehicle registration work? How does vehicle registration work? You've never bought a car in your life. How does vehicle registration work? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. There are. Is yeah, she not wrong in that? Like he bought a car without having a driver's license, and he literally bought that car not for himself. He bought the car for her, though. Adults in the chat telling you the answers that you need to know right there. Just a couple weeks later, Adep Damn. posted this image on her Instagram story. Either she had just become the most overpaid florist of all time and was making a delivery, or she was using Felix's McLaren to go on dates. And the date definitely wasn't oh, with shit. him since he was playing GTA at the time and reacted to this picture live on stream. Whoa! Just a couple months later in January, 2023, something would happen on- Man, so he bought the car, right? Doesn't have a driver's license. They are fighting. XQC Sammy fighting, right? And Sammy goes on a date in his car with somebody else. Flowers are shown. She uploads that picture on the internet while he's streaming and he finds that. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. oh my god. I would be devastated though. You know what I mean? I would be devastated. But what if like she's playing games and she never went on a date? It's just like to kind of make him jelly or kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, a psychological warfare, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it. An XQC stream that would live in internet history forever. Yeah, $10 promise to $2. Chat, we forgot. Oh my God, we forgot. You guys, imagine like you buy a car, right? And your, and your girl drives that, and you find out that she went on a date with somebody else. Order that we agreed upon. You signed your name on it. Get out now. No, I need you to change it. Holy crap. Oh my god, shut up! My god! This clip immediately blew up on Reddit with one thread getting nearly 11,000 upvotes and thousands of comments. In Urdu, Hindi, I would like to say, those of you understand, guys, yeah, it's like Babu Bhai said, I was like, Deva, 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 I was like, Ram, I was like, Ram, I was like, Man, holy crap, his life is a movie, holy hell.
speculating on what was going on. People cleaned up the audio and posted versions of their own subtitles and transcripts. This clip was- Yeah, the internet never stops, right? Everyone, everybody went detective mode after that. Like, it was some CSM Miami shit. Hardy understood what I said, right? Already in the lead for the most parasocial moment of 2023, and the year was only a week old. But to these people's credit, this whole saga had been broadcast live for months. Why stop watching the show when it's heating up to new levels of crazy? The most interesting part of this was that Adept had mentioned a court order, and if there really was a court order, that meant that they had gone to court against each other at some point. Why would they do that? Within a couple of hours, people online had found public court records showing that Adept had filed something against XQC. She even had a restraining order against him. The most bizarre thing was, this filing was a request for a divorce. Filed the same day, Adept posted the oh, picture shit. of the flowers in the McLaren. Had they been secretly married this whole time? Yo, thank God, no children though. Like, yeah, like, thank God, like, his pullout game was strong, or he wore, like, an umbrella downstairs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> thank God XQC wore an umbrella. Because had it been, like, he did not have an umbrella down there, bro, Man, he would have been having like four or five kids by now. And then like responsibility increases and responsibility rises and you're all you're getting chained up too though. So he he was still chained up, don't get me wrong, but with kids, you get chained up even more so. I'm I am not married. I was never married is a restraining order in the grand scheme of things is it not always what you think it is. True, true, okay? true. In 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 a, in a case like that. It's extremely common that it comes with it. Within a day, big YouTubers and streamers were all talking about this divorce case. Destiny pulled the public court records and started going through them on stream. It turned out that Felix and Sammy had never been formally married, but Sammy was claiming that they had been common law married. Common law marriage is- Ah, the internet detectives. Love my internet detectives, man. ...that eight states in the United States have. And in Texas, where Death and XQC live together, the couple has to agree to be married, live together in Texas as husband and wife, and represent to others that they were married. What Adept is trying to do is she's trying to make the argument that her and XQC probably met the requirements or should have met the requirements for common law marriage. So she's trying to file for a divorce now, because when she gets divorced from XQC, she's going to be entitled to some some of his assets that were accumulated during the duration of the marriage. Man. That's what she's trying to do. Goldie. Man, this goes for both, uh, and uh, not trying to be sexist here, but most of the time, how many times we hear stories, right? Like a man does everything for him, his himself, for his family, uh, earns, uh, you know, does is very successful, gets uh, assets uh, in XQC cases, uh, and thrives, and then finds the wrong partner and get double cross and the partner gets half of the money for no damn reason other than just being being a hoe or a partner right no offense to my ladies not every lady's like that okay it's just the extremes and they are the one that we hear on the internet but it's like holy crap man holy crap there was a football player i'm forgetting his name right now if anybody knows that uh, he has all of his assets under his mom's name and he was a w a w man for that uh but Statistically speaking, not even my opinion, men, for the most part, men, uh, they, they have it worse. Uh uh, yep, men get screwed in courts. I saw a lot of that in my nine years in that in the Navy. Yeah, uh, I mean you're a lady. Uh, you, you yeah. So uh, yeah, your 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 opinion or your uh, what's this called experience uh, worth more than my experience, hundred percent. Because you're a lady speaking, I'm a man speaking, and if I defend men, obviously I would be viewed as a sexist. Hakimi, yeah, it was Hakimi though. Shout out to Hakimi, man. <laughs> It became immediately clear that the stakes for this divorce case were immensely high. The house, the cars, the millions of dollars in crypto and other assets. Yo, can I brother get two pennies over there? Are all at stake. Because people don't know, this is the biggest common law marriage case the world has ever seen, and only I got the court documents for now. This is where a YouTuber called Henry Resilient comes in. If it weren't for Henry, most of the details about this case would be unknown to the public. He's a former investigator who got legal, legitimate copies of the court proceedings between XQC and Adept. And he's consistently been one of the first people to break news on this story. A link to Henry's channel is in the description right below the contractually obligated bit. Sorry, Henry, I gotta pay bills too. But make sure you guys hit subscribe, show him some love, because I got the very- Subscribe to the homie Jabroni, which is him, and also subscribe to the homie for being a detective real detectives were on the case real lawyers bro <laughs> man when lawyers become youtuber you know whenever in trouble call Saul Goodman though special opportunity to interview him for this video so why did you hit me up jabroni as soon as i started researching this like you just kept popping up over and over and over i'm like okay this is the subject matter expert so i gotta talk to the subject matter. he's the Saul goodman of youtube though expert right and and honestly like stepping back looking at the whole timeline this case is crazy like I, 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 it's I, nuts i've been trying to tell people this is the biggest common law divorce craziest case known to man and for the likes of me no one will cover it. In January, right when this yeah. news broke, Henry showed the affidavit. So he took it 
in his hands and he's like, let me go ahead and cover it. Okay, sounds fair, sounds Where fair. Where Adept asks for a temporary restraining order. Adept said she had been harassed and is afraid of further harassment and therefore asks the court to issue a restraining order to bar XQC from speaking about the litigation until a full hearing can be held. She also told the court that they had been married since August of 2020. During that visit to see XQC in Canada, she oh, had told shit. immigration authorities that they were married because Canada wasn't allowing visitors into the country who were unmarried. She also says yeah. they've been living together in Texas since then and have presented themselves as married to friends and family. She also says that fans started doxing, harassing, and swatting them after they made their relationship public. In Henry's analysis of this affidavit, he asserts that Adept included this information in the lawsuit so she can sue him for money to cover the cost of armed security, therapy, and any other costs that could be associated with this. She even takes it a step further and tells the judge that she expects Felix to dox her and encourage his fans to harass and possibly physically harm her and her family. The temporary restraining order was granted after this was filed, and XQC of course. wasn't allowed to discuss any of this on stream. Adept of course, of course, men always get their nuts clipped, man. It's like, not even shocked, not even surprised. That's how it happens, you know? It's always the men's fault. It's always the men are toxic. Toxic masculinity. Nearly 1 a.m. Uh, he here in Pakistan. I'm watching as the story so mysterious and engaging. Never heard of it. Xbox stream coming up soon as well, boys. Sayyid, yaar, man, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Ravan, I'm talking to you. This is the God, 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 God. This is the Ram Nikola. This is the Ram Nikola gone on to file an amended motion where she Crazy, requests that man. Felix pay her attorney fees, give her sole possession of XQC's BMW and Tesla, prevent XQC from using the McLaren, prevent him from gambling, buying or wearing expensive clothes, and she asks the court to take half a million dollars from him and give it to her if he violates the temporary restraining order. Stop oh having fun. God. Stop having fun. This is it. Not long after, Adept and her lawyers filed a list of violations. She gets half a million just like that if he makes uh, one mistake. What if brother gets in, a, in his feelings though? What if brother... You know what I mean? Like, because uh, shit happens sometimes, right? You, you Obviously, he has a right to get mad, but he cannot get mad right now. If he gets mad, well, she gets half a million. Holy crap with the court, claiming that XQC had broken the restraining order and should be made to pay up. There's just one problem with this list of violations. It's chock full of lies. She tells the judge in this document that XQC leaked Destiny the court documents when Destiny had actually gotten them legally as they were public documents. She also says that XQC streamed their argument on the 7th without her knowledge or consent. I'm pretty sure she just blatantly lied in that first list of violations. Like, <laughs> she's- No way! <laughs> and I know lie is a strong word. <laughs> lie is a strong word, right? But I'm pretty sure she says that without her knowledge or consent, he allowed their argument to be live streamed. And I'm talking about that January 7th. Uh, yeah, incident, when I was just playing. Allowing the discussion of pending litigation online. But she had actually typed in his chat two times before she started banging on the door. Yes. So is there no like repercussion for just saying whatever? Like, like that's a lie. In family court, there's no repercussion. Damn. Uh, in criminal court, there's a thing called perjury. In family court, perjury really doesn't exist. But what, yeah. what she's been doing is trying to ensnare him in the family court system with a violation to find him in contempt. If I can get a million dollars from entrapping you and violating this court order, it's worth it, right? Yeah. It's worth it. Just a few weeks after all this. I mean, she had like another reason. Like, let's be real. Holy crap. Like, imagine, like, you know, you're Sammy, let's just say, or I'm Sammy, right? Like, the chick, right? I'm gonna try my hardest to get him mad and do the thing that he should not do. And if he does, I'll get 500 million? I get, or not 500 million, what am I saying? Half a million? documents came to light. On January 20th, the police were called to XQC's house in Texas. Once again, we have to thank Henry for getting a snippet of the police report and posting it on his YouTube. According to the police report, Sammy and her mother were in XQC's house without his permission. Apparently, Felix told the police that they were stealing his stuff because the reason for the report is a burglary in progress. Sammy told the police that they were married, and Felix told them that they had only been dating for about six months. Back in court, Felix's lawyers were arguing that they were never married. They asked the judge to come to a conclusion about whether they were ever married before trying to split up any of the assets like Adept's lawyers were requesting. The stakes just got notched up higher than ever. If she convinces a judge that they were married to dig into the finances and his gambling it's gonna hurt him it's gonna hurt sponsors it's gonna be bad and he'll be he should just settle in my opinion hey bust her down for the mclaren but she knows that if she goes for more she can get it at the end of may X holy crap i mean uh saw goodman out here or henry goodman right there Bruh. speaking speaking the facts He's a lawyer on the situation. He's like, yo, if she presses, I hope he did not make that video. He probably did. But I hope that Sammy did not get to see. But because that's when she would be in, in, in her feelings, emotions would be. And she would be like, yeah, let me plot that real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because a lawyer knows what he's talking about. Let me use that information and explore it. XQC over that. Damn, that's crazy. X, X, uh, Xbox stream coming up too, guys. Don't XQC worry, we're gonna check to it out. Back into his Texas house. But when he asked a friend to go over and make sure it was ready for him to stream in, what they found was pretty surprising. Surprising. Is it over there? It's fucking, it's dark. There's no power, no water, no internet. Enough. Yeah. Okay. Just two days later, a they clip leave. from a depth stream went viral. I've been trying to tell the truth for a long time. This is my wedding ring. That's a truthful statement. I didn't purchase it for myself. That's a truthful statement. 
this wedding ring was purchased on May 8th, I think we said, right? Wasn't that the day of the receipt? And I, I didn't buy it. That's a truthful statement. I've been mm -hmm. married for three years. That's a truthful statement. I got a phone call on May 15th. I got a phone call. I didn't call nobody. I didn't beg nobody to call me. Now, I mean, when she says that I did not buy that uh, ring, I mean, I believe her, right? Like, cause uh, let's be real, XQC probably bought because I mean, listen, she he was in love, you know? I mean, he did what any man, if he's capable enough, would do, right? For example, if you're in love with that chick, you love her and you're able to financially, you're gonna put a ring on her, right? Let's be real. Like, because you want to take care of the lady, you love the lady, right? And then the lady's like, no, nah, man, I'm going to pull out my strong independent and do that. Holy crap, man. It's pretty tempting to write off everything Adept says in this clip because she claims that she's been married for three years as a fact. Even when in reality, not she's yet. been fighting in court for seven months to prove it. So it's not exactly a proven fact. But if you stop and think for a second, maybe there are some little hints of truth about what's been going on behind the scenes in what she's saying. And one of those things they is the lie. ring. If we consider the possibility that she didn't actually buy it for herself, where did that thing come from? A week later, Felix posted a cryptic video where he shows a tour of his entire Texas house room by room. He doesn't explain why, but the end of the video revealed a lot. They're not live yet. We'll give it some time. I'm getting out. Thank you for helping out. The police were waiting outside the house, along with Sammy and possibly Sammy's mom. But were the police escorting Felix out of his own house? Were they escorting Sammy out of the house? Or something else? The next day on- Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo, imagine by law and law officers show up and they escort you out from your own house holy crap yeah they're not they have not started yet don't worry guys uh, they're gonna twitter fans were speculating about the ring and the reason xqc and adept were staying in the same house felix replied to a tweet and said that cars were going around the house and that he got a call presumably from sammy pleading for him to be there for safety he says the pictures were taken off his phone while he was asleep do you think that that incident where he went there and she was there and they spent the night in the house together. Do you think that like muddied the waters of this whole trial? No, because they're arguing marriage. Just because he went over there to have sex with her, it doesn't mean that they were married. But what happened after that was the whole false allegation of assault. Completely unknown to the public at the time, Adept had called the police and accused Felix of sexual assault. Now on top of losing half of everything he owned, he was at risk of going oh, to prison it. and being put on the sex offenders registry. There was also a temporary protective order issued against him, which is something usually only bit, issued okay. against violent or potentially dangerous offenders. Felix could now go to jail just for being around Sammy or saying the wrong thing about the case to the wrong person. Just a couple days after this police report was filed, XQC went to check his mail. There was a uh, letter that demanded an extremely sizable financial settlement and these things wouldn't get out there. Very sensible uh, amounts, and it basically wouldn't happen. I saw that, and in front of me, with, the, with these two things happening, uh, I had to make an adult decision. And the adult decision that I made is that I wouldn't budge on any of it, and I wasn't gonna buy my way out of anything, I wasn't gonna uh, give in to evil, and I wasn't gonna just let the wave... Uh, this this uh, like story is almost over. Yeah, we're gonna check it out, don't worry guys. Xbox uh, stream, we're gonna check it out. Watch over me. After Felix denied the multi-million dollar settlement demand, Adept and her lawyers kept pushing the court to make the protective order permanent. When going home, the Border Patrol agent were like, hey man, uh, you have a protective order against you in the state of Texas. What about it? I had to sit there in line at the airport and explain it, and I just, I felt like I was shooting like a criminal. Felix also revealed that one of the nights they had spent together, he had passed out, and while he was passed out, Adept took his phone and over 700 pictures of text messages, Discord conversations, and all kinds of logs that he had on his phone with other people. Adept started to slowly leak some of these pictures, including one where she claims XQC paid one of his head mods to sleep with him. XQC's response was that he paid her flight and expenses to come visit him and watch him while he was sleeping, since he was still having night terrors and choking in his sleep. Adept went on stream and questioned oh, why Felix couldn't just have a family member do this for him. Oh, if, you, if you're worrying about your health, just, just call your family. Why I couldn't do that anymore. I wonder why that happened. I wonder at the time why I couldn't call family. I wonder. Well, maybe because um, your ass made a massive drama that split me and my family apart entirely. It's Damn, like imagine, right? Like uh, because of her, uh, I mean, he, instead of, at first he chose his family, but then it's like drama happened and he chose her. And that was a bad mistake. I mean, always choose your family over some whole guys. Like, damn, he chose her and then she double crosses him. And it's like, now he has bad relationship with his family. Holy crap, bro. God damn. It's almost like I had nobody at the time. Felix's family, while supportive, were aware that he had a sexual assault case open against him. Nothing's going to cool relations at the family dinner table faster than being but on- But I'm certain, like, the family always, they, they came in at the last minute, right? They surely would clutch in and they would like, yeah, bro, okay, you made a mistake, but it's fine, right? Like, family's family after all, right? investigation for being a monster.
In the heat of the summer while all this was going on, Felix had finally revealed why he says all of this started. I kept waking up and like injuring myself and shit like that, and I thought like I was gonna die soon. I felt like I, I wasn't gonna live very long. And then I went, got like people to um, organize everything, like investments and get all my papers in order and get a will. I had all the questions normally. And then one of them was like, oh, what, what's your like status? And then it's like, well, it's like single, you know? Like the, the yeah, what game is that? That game looks fun. Like Subway Surfer, Xbox confirmed they're bringing four games to PlayStation. Yeah, yo, appreciate the five, Alex. Thank you, man. Shout out to you guys. Don't worry, we're gonna check out the entire thing. This video is almost over, like five minutes, okay? Less than five minutes and two. I got you guys. We're just trying to finish the dang story here. And no worries. I got you right here, okay? And like, if I die, like, okay, well, might will go to, like, you know, family, like that. And then after that, things just kind of, like, started like blown the fuck up. Felix says after this, his relationship with Sammy spiraled out of control and she filed for a common law divorce against him. He said that ever since the will had been drafted, he had been trying to make as much money as possible so that in the event he dies, his family will be taken care of. To that end, Damn. Felix signed a $100 million deal with Kick and it Xbox wasn't even exclusive. Confirm they bringing four games to PS Switch. Yo. Yo, shout out, uh, shout out to you, Alex, for five, bro. You the homie, man. You the homie. Yeah, and Tower Day, everybody. I know, I know. Let, let's just finish this fast, okay? And uh, we're gonna check it out, guys. We're gonna check it out. He could still stream on Twitch and keep making money over there as well. If he could beat the criminal case and the divorce, he could stack money for his parents and brother. At the end of August, Henry was searching for the SA police report. He knew it was out there and was getting closer. The police denied his request, but their response told him everything he needed to know. It is information and internal records of a law enforcement agency relating to a closed criminal investigation that ended in a result other than a conviction or deferred adjudication. The criminal case against XQC had been dropped. After months of sitting in the dark, I actually had something or somebody tell me and validate it that my brain was rooted uh, in reality. Once the criminal case was over, only the massive divorce remained. It was still the largest common law marriage case in history, and an untold amount of money was on the line. The final hearing was supposed to happen very soon, and it was at this oh, point- Oh man, I hope she did not get the money, bro. That's like insane, though. Gears of War is incoming to place and Gears of War Okay, I see you. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. Point that one of the parties in the case asked for something very strange. Somebody asked for a jury trial in- uh, uh, I deputy it, because the lawyer- I mean, she asked for the jury trial because, um, the judge was giving her no play. The, I mean, she denied her alimony. She denied uh, lawyer fees. Uh, she did, denied the half a million dollar bond. They're, the judge was not buying for one second that they were married. But because we're in America, we have to go through this judicial system. Even if I say, no, Jabroni hit me and I'm suing him for assault. And here's the lawsuit. And now Jabroni got to get a lawyer and prove that he didn't hit me. You think they could kind of see the so light on the wall and they oh, say, yeah. you know what? 100% percent the jury. So a little bit of light of hope right there. I love that. I love that. We're going to get you crying on the witness stand. like. <laughs> because think about this. This has been going on since she filed in November of 2022. And from November 2022, at any point in time, she could have requested a jury trial. She Damn. Wait uh, how old is this? How uh, did things end? I'm not sure how they ended exactly. I know a little bit. Don't want to spoil it. I want to know that real quick. But November 2022, that's when he filed. So I guess there's your answer. Uh, answer. We have the reference of time. Uh, a little bit. Obviously, this has been ongoing for way before then, too. Until literally after the denial of everything. Dweebs, in just a second, okay? This video is almost over. I will show you, Dweebs. I got you, man. I got you, brother. Just hold on. Hold on. Right before they're supposed to have their trial between, you know, the trial in front of the judge to request a jury trial. The same judge that was hearing the divorce proceedings had heard the SA case, and she didn't like it. XQC was found to be a credible witness, and Adept and her legal team could feel that things weren't exactly going their way. Look at my lawyer, dog! I'm going to jail! But if Adept was losing ground in the courts, she was going to make one last-ditch effort to win in the court of public opinion. On the night of October 3rd, she went live on Twitch to do just that. Damn. Why are you so hard to find? It's because I'm so crazy. Two minutes. I have so many screenshots, over 700. Baby girl, you want to add the numbers up? It's over 15. It's like over 2,000. You guys, you guys act like, like I said, that I'm not in a, a war. You guys act like I'm not at war. Tons of streamers and content creators tuned into this stream. And Dog, you are just streaming, man. Like, what war are you in, though? Come on, man. Get your ass out of here. Dog. Over 4,000 concurrent viewers. Like, even still, you guys have no idea how truly on and off things were in the last year. I believe you her. really don't know. He was he was blowing her back out. Adept then spent the rest of the stream <laughs> reading messages Bumbaka! that she had stolen from XQC's phone, picking out the particularly juicy parts in an attempt to make him look as bad as possible. She also leaked several people's real names that weren't public before. She spends a lot of time calling girls that Felix has Yo. been messaging and dating over the last year pick me's, and she hints to having more messages that she can release if certain people make her mad. And then somebody at Twitch noticed. See, the reason why I kept playing this song earlier, because I'm-
What happened? Let's hit a refresh. Damn. The next day, XQC posted a video called, She went too far and got banned. That's where a lot of the clips I've used so far came from. Since he was under orders from the court not to talk about a lot of these things, for a long time he didn't. But now, it was like a massive weight had been lifted from his shoulders. Dog, it's like, holy crap, man. You, if a man did that, he would have been thrown in another dimension. For example, right? Like, Nadia apparently, uh, you know, dox a viewer, donation, dox his name completely. And yeah, just gets like, couple, I believe, couple hours ban and or maybe a few days ban. And she was back. But if a man were to do it, like, he would have been gone permanently. For example, Gideon, right? Like, he said some things that he shouldn't have, obviously. Uh, and, but later on, he kind of, you know, made things all right with Pokemon. Those of you who know, you know what happened, right? Uh, those of you that didn't, he called Pokemon some bad words. And, uh, and yeah, he is still to this day. He's permanently banned. Uh, or maybe they lifted the band, but the last time I checked, they did not. Like, damn, if you're a man, it's Joe over. And a lot of evil was shown, and a lot of terrible things were said and done. I sat there, and I was asked that question multiple times. Do you want peace, or do you want justice? And over and over again, I answered, I want peace. Now, where I'm at, I was asked, do you want peace or justice? I said, I want justice. Damn. I want justice now. Damn. W, man. Then on w. December 4th, XQC had told his chat that he got a very unexpected text message. I thought, I thought it, uh... All right, boys, this is a climax we talking about right after this we took getting into the Xbox, okay? Holy crap, bro. This is insane, bro. I, I, I thought I'd never see the day, to be honest. Um, but I was on well the stream and I got, uh... Now, Jose, we're not gonna speed up. Don't worry. Text message. Uh, email. And I, I want to, uh, take, take go away from the computer. So we call and, um, confirm if it was true or not and get, get an explanation. Um, they just gave me the news that I was um, no longer in any um, significant illegal battle, and it's uh, all over. After a year in court, it was finally over. The criminal case, the allegations, the leaked messages, the looming dread of not being able to speak about this, and the fear of going to jail or losing his empire, gone. Don't Felix outlived the Overwatch League, survived countless swattings and police raids, and came out on top. And while Man. it wasn't exactly a clean break, with Felix immediately trying to get back with Adept and then admitting he's an idiot, and the car ownership thing is still being worked out, it seems like the whole thing changed Felix in a pretty big way. When this started, he was someone who might have been more willing to settle, buy his way out of hard situations, and just want things to be easy in general. Double but it seems like this changed him, at least a little bit, into someone who wants justice. And that is one thing money can't buy. Just want to say thanks one more time to Henry Resilient. I couldn't have done this without him. Man, that... <sighs> His life is a movie, bro. Like, that is crazy. I don't even want to wish that even on my worst enemy, y'all. Like, holy crap, bro. He lived, he lived through it. Shout out to Jabroni. Click on this video on the screen, guys. This was another the last drama that we had. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.